Hey you guys, uh, this is Jay with Elegant Edits. Uh, this is one of my first videos, but actually uh, I've never done an unboxing before, but I figured that this process is so new uh, that most people would like to see exactly what they're getting. Uh, so we will be unpacking the L1800 that's been converted, uh, it's an Epson printer that's been converted to DTF printing from the people over at Kingdom T-Shirts. I believe the guy's name is Jos. Yeah, sort of an accent, uh, so I believe that's how you pronounce it. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but I guess I could uh, open this box while I'm talking. But, um, yeah, so DTF printing is pretty new. I'm totally unfamiliar with it, but uh, I believe that this, from what I've seen, should be superior to... Oh, it's packed well. So this should be superior to white toner printing, and I'll have a slew of other videos of when I had the IC800. Uh, so that, you know, trust me, I'm sure the community will come after me uh, because I don't know what it is about those white toner printers, but you can achieve great results with them, but that just simply isn't my story. Uh, I had a bunch of issues with it. I did a lot of research starting out, but it just wasn't conducive for my business. And uh, if you hear the audio switch over, more than likely someone has come into the store and I'm just going to be respectful so I'm pretty sure this won't be done in one take. Uh, so this is actually pretty good so far. Uh, make sure you guys can see I should have panned out a little bit. Uh, but this is pretty decent so far to know that he has actually repacked this as best as possible because these printers have to be uh, modified but it looks near perfect I mean as you would get a printer out of box and it was shipped via U, uh, UPS so no shenanigans there we have the uh, standard printer cable power adapter oh here's the dongle for the AcroRip I believe it's 9 that we'll be using to uh, as the rip software to actually send the prints over to the printer itself I didn't really think this through. Okay, cool. Alright, so it's a box within a box, so I may have to speed this up a bit. Uh, so we have the ink, the white inks for the two channels and the cyan magenta. And so CMYK, yeah, key, black. Set these over here. And I've been told uh, that you can, if you have utilized the DTG inks, uh, I don't know if you heard that, the DTG inks, that if you can clean the printer or whatever, you will be able to still utilize that inks. But for me, print, especially Epsons, are notorious for gumming up, at least with sublimation, uh, modifying it, switching the inks over from uh, OEM inks. So I don't even like to play around with that. Uh, so we have our uh, PET film or PET film. Uh, I'm, again, this process is so new um, that I'm really unfamiliar with the terminologies and stuff. I just know that the quality is there and it works. So I don't know if you can see this here. Uh, so he says to print on the coated side, which it'll probably have a dull finish. Uh, and so these sheets are what you print to. Uh, for the transfers before you add the powder. So this is gonna be at 325 uh, degrees Fahrenheit at 15 seconds. So again, you know, I won't get into it within this video because this is necessarily an unboxing video. Let me know in the comments if you want to know uh, why I, the many reasons why I switched over uh, to this. And so this is the powder here. And forgive me, I really would like this to be strictly an unboxing video, but I don't want it to be boring as well. So uh, here's the powder that you cure to the PET film or PT film sheets. Try not to make too much of a mess here. And it's probably gonna have our addresses on it, so I won't do that.
Okay, so here's the printer itself. Slide this over a bit. Oh, oh. we also ordered extra sheets because I was so impressed with the uh, results that I saw in the videos that I figured we'd need more than 50 sheets. Because I believe the, the, the standard bundle, it comes with the inks as well as I believe 50 sheets and enough to fill the ink reservoir or ink tanks up at least by halfway. But I'm really impressed now. Uh, I believe that Joss over at or Joss over at Kingdom DTG. You can see it here. And again, forgive me, I'm still starting this out so you can see the Kingdom DT, uh, DTF uh, logo. I guess it's like a vinyl. Yeah, it's a vinyl application. But hey, I'm all for rebranding. Okay, tape the carriage for transport. I'm doing everything right here. side as well okay okay and here's the maintenance bottle like a waste tank since this printer doesn't have the actual waste tank pad that is removable Okay, so what's probably going to end up happening is I'll have to power the printer on and unplug the cable. Usually that's how we do it. And then you'll have to slide this carriage over because I can't lift these out here. But again, this is strictly an unboxing video. Okay, I thought this tab was broken. I was going to be pretty upset. So uh, it just fits in here. And we have each of the channels here. And they aren't listed, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, but it has it on the cap as well. So, or actually, it will go this way right for the door. Um, so, yeah, what we'll do is see if we can at least get this hooked up. And I'll add the inks. Oh, you know what? So, okay, let me just double check before I make a complaint. Okay, so what I will say, uh, I guess it could be better. So it's not really a complaint. It's just, um, again, uh, just if you're watching this, what I didn't see are any sort of uh, syringes to be able to prime these. So it wasn't in the, in the description that it wasn't included. So even if you put that in the description, I know you want to keep your costs down as well because you are providing us a service, but... Um, if you're watching this, I would, let, you know, let me sh see here. I should have some. Yeah, so, and I don't even know if I have extra ones. I may have to order some, but so this is just a minor setback if you don't have these, and I do a lot of sublimation and stuff, but in order for you to create a vacuum from this, I don't, you know, I just assume that all of you guys uh, aren't seasoned in printing, uh, so... I don't want to be redundant if you already know this information, but in order for you to add ink to this tank and for it to flow through the lines to the print head or to the actual cart, or I believe these have dampers. So to the dampers, you need to create a, a vacuum. So you would need however many channels, I believe there are six channels on this printer. So you'll need six separate of these so that you don't contaminate each channel and I think it would be a nice touch for him to include the six syringes but again it's not a real beef they're they're easy to come by but if you were ready to print wanting to follow the instructions of, of how to or the directions rather of how to uh, get your printer up and running and you don't have these it's going to be kind of a bummer because you'll have to wait for them to be delivered so uh, I would say if he can 
put the, that information in the description. That would be great when you're purchasing the printer to refer. Actually, it would be a good upsell uh, because I believe that he, I'm sure he carries them on his site. But, you know, end right. But yeah, that's the only complaint I have so far. I haven't powered it on here. Uh, let me get this out of the way. Yeah, see, I don't even know if I'll be able to uh, set these inks up today uh, because I may not even have six clean, unused syringes. So again, this kind of halts <laughs> the production of my video and this is all in real time. Uh, so please forgive me, but man, it's like I might as well. Yeah, I'll probably just come back to this because even if I turn it on and, and move the carriage, it's not really gonna help it. But I guess for the sake of the video, I do wanna make sure that it powers on. But see, this is what I was kind of referring to but you know we're all starting, and he's blessing us with the uh, providing the consumables and the whole print system converted. So, uh, and what I've learned through this entire uh, pandemic or whatever we want to call it is patience. So I have more, more than enough patience day by day when it comes to things not working out as planned. Okay, let's see if I can access this. So far so good. I need to be able to You wanna wait till you see it shoot? I mean, all Epsons are pretty pretty similar. Oh, okay, but it is asking for ink. So let's see if it's moved enough. Okay, perfect. So I'll just leave this here. I believe there's a screw. Yeah, there's a screw here uh, that keeps the dampers in place uh, when the carriage is swaying back and forth to make the print. Uh, so at least this will be ready for and let me just check here. I may be able to do it. Nope, use, use, use. So one has cleaning solution. That does two, two. I believe the mouth is the same opening. Three. Four ish. Yeah, see, I only have four. So, uh, a minor inconvenience, but we'll return to this and you'll see it powered on. But again, uh, I want you guys to be with me every step of the way because I've been printing for 10 years. Uh, but this is a very new process and I want you guys to see my successes and my failures as well. Uh, and that's to keep me humble and in my place at the same time. And also uh, it would help the community to grow. Uh, so again, if you order the bundle, you're going to receive the standard printer cable. Well, I haven't checked to see, I like my stuff wired, so I still probably use it even if it has a wireless option. Uh, the software, which you may not even need this disk, more than likely the, the computer will actually search for it if you're on Windows. And it may do it on Mac too. The dongle, of course the printer, and you're going to get the PCF powder. Well, it's not labeled, but this is the powder. You can find a tray from anywhere uh, to actually hold the powder. Oh, it's right up here. So this is what I'll actually be using. For mine, it's a rhinestone deal. Okay, so, and then I ordered, so this actually comes with the printer. This is the standard sheets, I believe it's A3 and A4. Uh, and then we ordered the extra sheets that you see here. And, but everything's priced very affordably. Uh, sorry, Joss, I, I hope I didn't beat you up too bad. Uh, but this is an honest review. Uh, so, and it's to help grow 
uh, us as entrepreneurs. So that's my only beef is that it didn't come with the syringes, but uh, we'll get some in and then we'll do this at another time. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. Thank mm -hmm. you.